built uh, this Pinguino that I've built is, a, is really a, a lovely boat. Um, but I have had great difficulty getting the hatch covers off um, after, uh, you know, having the the things tightened down for a while. So I'll get somewhere I wanted to get the hatch cover off and at times I've had to use a knife blade to actually lift the hatch cover. So I thought for a little bit about how to um, combat that, make it easier, and uh, this is what I came up with. Now, most of the fittings on uh, on this boat and most of the other kit boats I've seen are I use a, uh, a webbing uh, to hold uh, the deck lines and to uh, toggle down the hatch covers um, and to act as uh, anchor points uh, and so uh, with the exception of, of these deck fittings most everything uses these web pieces so what I thought was I would add a loop of webbing here uh, it's hidden by the buckle and of course for me the front deck here is the hardest one to get off the back one seemed to come a little, a little easier maybe just because of its larger size but this uh, this solution seemed to do the job because now when uh, when I need to get the hatch cover off it's a matter of just putting the finger in and lifting up and I can set it back out of the way or stick it under the bungees or do whatever I need to do to get into into the hatch and I've done this both on the front hatch again this is covered by the, the screw uh, is covered by the fitting here done this both on the front hatch and the back hatch and it's pretty unobtrusive and it really it really does the job and just saves me a lot of uh, time and aggravation so uh, so that's all for now um, just another little uh, piece of uh, customizing I've done on, on the boat and one that you might find useful too that's all for now